she's a party girl, which I am not, and like a cigarette smoker, which I am not, and um, drives a white limo, which I do. Um, that would be amazing, and it would be old. That's just the, actually they have the same car. But we're really similar in that I think we both overcompensate for insecurities by being like way too loud and way too much for any situation. Um, but I'm trying to get better at it, but I think I was able to pull a lot of myself um, I into undercompensate her. with ins insecurity. Oh. It's an interesting thing. What do you do, like get smaller? Or get, like, like get sort smaller of and kind of cynical and kind of like, oh. I don't think that's going to work. I don't care. I, I don't really care about this. I, here's a, there's like a, there is a transition. I used to do that. I used to just be like, it's never going to work. I'm never going to get it. Nobody cares. I've just been doing this so long. I'm tired. And then I think. Just go home and watch TV. Leave me alone. Uh-huh. But I, it changed. Now I'm just like, oh, let's go. Mm. Let's do it. Yeah. And that was the guilt. Was that because of Gilda? I think, but I think it was before that. I think I started doing, I was so scared of everything in my 20s. And then I turned 30 and I started doing stand-up again. I did stand-up as a teenager. I had, the, I had balls the size of... What has big balls? Bulls? Yeah, I had bull, I had bull balls. Um, I had, I, okay, all righty, I'm going to go. But anyway, my point is, like, I had balls of steel. My mom used to joke when I was little that she was just like, we're waiting for her balls to drop, which is really... I mean, if you have any wonder why I am the way I am. Um, but... I just was like a fearless kid and I was acting since I was nine and I was just like, let's go. I was on auditions. I was like, just felt I was so cool. And then I had done it for so long. By the time I was in my 20s, I was like, which sounds crazy, but I'd been acting since I was nine. So by 25, I'm just exhausted. I'm not getting any jobs. It's just like, what's happening? And it sucks. And then I started doing stand-up again when I turned 30 and then that changed everything. Because then you can get up on stage and just eat can I say a bag of dicks on AOL? Yep, oh, absolutely. perfect. Thank you so much. Um, so then you just get on stage and you eat so many bags of dicks that you're just like, oh, this, uh, these people couldn't possibly hate me more than I hate myself. And then you, and then you like ultimately go like, oh, this is getting better. I'm growing. I'm a human. And oh, wow. I should show some shoulder. I just got a, got a little slice of the monitor. You know, it was way too much hair. Um, anyway, you get the point. So then stand up gave me the confidence to then go on auditions and feel like, I have to get this. This is the only thing that's ever gonna matter. And if I don't get this, I'll never have money and I can't get health insurance and no one's gonna believe in me and I've been trying this for too long and how have I not already quit? And that's the crazy repeating cycle that goes on. And then you do something for yourself. And I started touring, started doing musical comedy on the road. And then you're like, wait, I can do other things that fill me up that aren't just waiting for someone else to tell me that I can do a thing. And that really gave me, in Jewish, the word is koyach. Isn't that a, what a, what a beautiful language. Um, which is just like the energy, the verb, the, to feel like I could believe in myself and do it. 